हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एक्सपीरियंस In this video, I'll be showing a case where I have used Sulcofix, which is a customized IL for sulcus placement, particularly for pseudophagic refractive errors. So this was operated congenital cataract, 21 years of age now, and patient has a refractive error which uh, cannot be treated by corneal refractive procedure. So this is ideal candidate for sulcus placement. You can see there are no cyanic if they are there, then you have to release them. You have to provide a white to white refractive error of the patient and accurate biometry to the manufacturer and manufacturer will calculate the IL power for you based on virgin's formula for piggyback IOL. And uh, so uh, if there are any adhesions between the iris and the capsule, then you have to release them before inserting this IOL. So this IL looks like this. It has uh, four, you can see haptics there and uh, it has a notch uh, which has to be properly seen and uh, the aisle has to be inserted in the cartridge in the same way you can see there is little bit of vault as well which uh, is placed in such a way that uh, there is some gap between the existing aisle which was in the bag and this aisle so there is uh, no chance of formation of a membrane in between or deposits in between so uh, the Haptics are carefully put in the groove. One has to be sure that they don't get caught when the this cartridge is closed. Again, checking for the haptics because this is a customized IOL. This is a customized IOL, and you can see the axis is mentioned. That means we have to place the IOL exactly at 180 degree. We don't have to worry about uh, again marking axis according to the refractive error. So. Here goes the IL. I have used 1% halonate to form the anterior chamber. So generally cohesive OVD helps here because uh, you can wash it out very easily. While inserting make sure that alignment is perfect. So you don't want an inverted IL. And for placing the haptics in the sulcus you have to exactly pull at the apex of the haptic that makes things much easier. So here the pupil is well dilated, but even if the pupil is little smaller side, you can just pull it back towards the center at right at the apex and then push it into the sulcus. So same way the other haptics as well are pushed into the sulcus. And once all the haptics are in the sulcus, you can rotate the IL at uh, 0 180 degree as I am doing now and then uh, you can just wash out the viscoelastic and that's the end of the surgery you can use this IOL for correcting the pseudophagic refractive errors I also done monovision with this so that the patient is free of glasses and this works really well a short procedure customized IOL to take care of the refractive errors and patients are really happy with the results thank you so much for watching